Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Quick Review and today I'm going to show you a nice little trick how to make objects float in the air using Adobe Photoshop. So this is basically it, this is the end product. Uh, my helmet is kind of floating in the air and not being supported by anything and to tell you the truth it took me approximately two minutes to get from the beginning to the end. So let's start it first. I had to take two pictures, so this is the background, this is the portion of my living room and then the secondary photo is actually my helmet being jammed on top of my small tripod. Now, before we start with this, I have to mention again one thing. Uh, both photos are taken with identical settings. And the only way really to do this to match is to put the camera uh, on a tripod and put it into full manual mode. So everything like exposure, f-stop, ISO, and focusing needs to be done manually. So you're gonna put the camera in the same settings, take two shots, and basically you can start. So I'm gonna open up first this background photo, then I'm going to select the secondary one and drag it over that first one, which will create two layers. So we're gonna have background, and we're gonna have that secondary layer. We're gonna select the first layer and then we're gonna create layer mask. So you're gonna click here and as soon as I do that, I'm gonna have this white rectangular kind of area, which means the tool is enabled. The next step is to select brush and make sure that black color is selected as foreground. Now, I'm going to increase the size of the brush and I'm gonna simply go over the tripod. And as you can tell, this thing is disappearing. Really cool. Now, what I'm gonna actually show you here, um, as you can tell, the top of my table is kind of different color. And the reason is this helmet is casting shadow down below, but nothing to worry about. I'm just going to clean this up, make it basically the same, and just the top portion of this chair. And here we are, this is done. Then the next step, I'm gonna go a little bit closer to this bottom edge of the helmet. I'm going to decrease the size of my brush and get close and personal. Now I'm not gonna go too, too close um, just for sake of showing you how it's done, but you have an idea. Um, you can go very, very close, but in my scenario here, this will be perfectly fine. And there we go. So I'm going to zoom out. And as you can see, this is basically, you know, what the end product looks like. It's very easy. It took approximately five minutes uh, to do all this, including taking the photos. And uh, as you can tell, um, you know, you have that really funky kind of uh, look and feel of the image. Now, the object itself, you can place it on top of another object in order to stand like a, and, and then you can take photos or you can hang it off some maybe thread or maybe um, let's say some fishing line. But bottom line, um, as long as you have it uh, nicely kind of placed in one particular spot without movement, that will be it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and find this one informative. Uh, I think it's really cool uh, to do this. So if you have some sort of imagination, you can make some really, really funky stuff. Anyway, if you didn't do it yet, please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next one. Cheers.